if we can open the basement. Ah, uh, yes, I unlocked the door. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what's going on down here. Old Christmas decorations. Old clothes and tools. Garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans. Why would you do that? Oh, it's an old house key. Let's take it. Took a small key. Try to remember what it unlocked. <laughs> we had way too much junk. Put this divider last summer. I was poorly installed. Might be able to break through it. Okay. We need to find something to break through this. What can I use? Can you use to break through drywall. Couldn't go out though. I need to see if Rachel was here. Let's see if we can find something heavy. Okay. Good. Looks like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? Could have carrot top. Old crowbar. Yes. We can use that to break through the drywall. I would assume. Let's go see carrot top. Yay. Oh, uh, wrong way. <laughs> I'm getting confused. So many. Here we go. Down to the basement. Here we go. Yes. Ah, oh, good job, Carrot Top. My breath caught in my throat. Is Rachel down here? Is she okay? Look at him, he's limping. Like, even worse. I didn't really notice until now. Filthy pile of rags. But I knew I had to come this far after all searching. What's he gonna find? What is it? Carrot top? What is it out of the cloth? Rachel! No! Rachel! Her arms were bruised and her clothes were ripped and torn. And she was covered in blood. She had been stabbed to death. Oh no! Poor Carrot Top! The knife I had carried all this way suddenly seemed like a poison. What had happened, Rachel? Who did this to you? I thought about all I've seen and wondered if I could help me figure out who had done this. Oh man, poor carrot top. Maybe way back upstairs. Okay, so he's gonna go to bed for a bit. Oh man. Poor Carrot Top, man. First he finds his buddy dead by his chair. Okay. He has his... The gun that... He had that killed him. Is it Carrot Top killing these guys? He, got, he had the knife too. Top ran out of power finally. Let me see. Let 
Okay. What's this? It's my wallet. Maybe I'll sleepwalk again or maybe somebody stole it from me. No one stole the forest or water tower. Was I at this place before? Sure. I didn't see how it could happen any other way. It must have been the one to lose my wallet in the contents. What does that mean? Oh, you... Uh, carrot top. You did it, you bastard. You're the murderer. You're sleepwalking. I found it in the house. I recall those faded remains I had found deep underneath this house. What had he done there? Oh, what did I think? Was that man involved in this whole mess somehow? Uh, sure. Definitely. Those tunnels, the odd tools in his house, and the wife. Raising his wife. He wasn't innocent, that's for sure. Oh, man. Oh, Carrot Top. It's all coming together, old Carrot Top. I think you did it. While you're asleep, welcome. things that bad. The letter Rachel seemed concerned. She almost seemed worried of Norman might do. Did he did he do that, Rachel? Norman may have betrayed me, but I didn't think he was capable of that. I hated him so much. But I couldn't blame him for what happened to my wife. Okay, how did I miss all this before? Office safe on the floor. Sure. The safe used an eight digit code. What was that damn code again? That one. Damn, I couldn't remember it. Okay. Who's this? Are the names that have been written down. I recall the names I saw. Some of the desk. Is the man in that house really up to something? Could be old Carrot Top, but you're the one that killed everybody. Let's see. Seems like I'd seen all, all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. How long has Rachel been laying in the basement? Yep. Living in this town had been easy. The plant helped me so stay grounded. It kept me in line and gave me something to do. It helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that's when I started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRIs and piles of doctor reports, but nothing seemed to help. Not even drinking. But I swear I tried to give it up. I know it. The sleepwalking never really went away. But I know Rachel tried. I know she had tried to be there for me even when everything was falling apart. This night it had terrible truths, but I knew it was the final act of a long-standing horror I had been living. Waking up in that house tonight was a final cruelty. I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. It was obvious to me that the man I had found in that house had something to do with all this. Could he have killed Rachel? It started to seem like that there were too many things I had to th I had seen to think otherwise. And what was hidden within those sewers I had found? The town to the man's house obviously lived there. But was something I missed? I found all the contents of my wallet scattered throughout the town. Why the hell I had been out there? I don't see why I can go to some new extreme. The thought that I could account for my unwhereabouts, but I knew. Oops, account for my whereabouts. Sorry about that. But I knew that I had been to that forest and even Norman's place. Well, that was terrifying. 
I didn't know what it meant, but at least I had to cover my things. Hopefully I thought that would, that would cover my tracks so I wouldn't be blamed for all this. Good old carrot time, trying to cover herself up. I'm pretty sure he did it though. In a sleepwalk, deep within those woods through. Deep within those woods, though, was where things became truly awful. Finding that notebook only made things worse. Rachel's name had been on that list, so what terrible plot was she part of? There was a similar list of names on the desk back in those tunnels. What was the connection? God, man, Kiritai was talking a lot. It was clear. At least Norman had him to the mobile plant. Okay. Maybe he was the one who had boarded up the locker room. Who had been drinking up there in the secret hiding place. So he had killed that guard then. He must have. Maybe it was maybe he was found out. Or well, the guard had caught him on a patrol. Damn it, Norman, why? After the factory. I thought it might have been some solace. If I could get to the Norman store, but all I have found were more horrors and more questions. Now that I really considered it, that's when I should have seen it coming. Norman, what were you and Rachel up to? It was obvious things were more complicated than I had ever imagined. How long had you been going behind my back? Well, important. Why, Norman? Whoever well, killed Rachel, they're probably gone after you two. Maybe they knew about what you, what you were up to. Now we never know peace, Norman, but despite your transpirations, a part of me really hoped that you would, when I had marched through the rain towards home, I desperately clung to the hope that this would end. And I guess it, in a way it did, but how could I have known that hopeless it was? I started to feel this end as I was sleepwalking, to think of it now. I guess I should have known from the terrible silence that greeted me when I first stepped into our house. The stood and stood there in the kitchen. There was no sound of the television or radio. Even the air was still. But seeing but but seeing Rachel there, lying ruined. Discarded in the basement. That was a horror I could have never, never imagined. I didn't know if I ever find the answers. I craved, but I knew that somewhere the other man had found her responsible for this. If not directly, he had had a hand in Rachel's death, so what was I doing in that damned house of his? I had found out. Had I killed him? My damn condition? Made it difficult to know. Okay. Carrot Top, please. The memories of the time frames were always a mess, and I could never be sure. Knowing that the man dread. The man was dead, and I could, was cold comfort. My wife was gone. And no matter what happened to me now, I was lost forever. And I swung open the door and stepped out and there. I caught the scent of the wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife. Just the thought of her again, cold in the night, shook me from the head to toe. What would I do now? What would I turn to? It would be only a matter of time before the police got involved. Before the neighbors knew. The front lawn and the soft and give in beneath my feet. And I couldn't shake the urge. I shouldn't stand there, but rather that I should run. Oh shit! Ah, uh, <coughs> my voice is hurting. Okay, guys. So apparently, there's some stuff that we didn't see. Like we didn't go back down to that room in that one place the sewers and uh sewer was in there but it's probably some stupid ass box or something anyway uh, that's uh that's the end of home guys hope you liked it uh just uh leave some comments subscribe and uh watch your back man see you guys later